Hello everyone, this is PMT Shepa. Mm -hmm. I'm presenting my report on history slow. Content introduction, working principle, hysteresis loss, signification of BH loop, method of reduce, reduce hysteresis loop, application, advantage, conclusion. Introduction. The magnetization of a ferromagnetic substance due to a very varying magnetic field lags behind the field. This effect is called hysteresis. Our hysteresis loop shows the relationship between induced magnetic flux density and magnetizing force. It's often referred to as BH loop. Hysteresis loops are generated from observation of ferromagnetic materials. Working principle of the hysteresis loop. The magnetic hysteresis loop shows the behavior of ferromagnetic core graphical, graphically as the relationship between B and H in nonlinear. To starting with an unmagnetized core, both B and H will be at 0.0 on the magnetic curve. 3. If the magnetic current I is increased in a positive direction to some value, the magnetic field strength H increase linearly with I and the density B will also increase as shown by the curve. From the point O to point S, point A as it hit towards saturation 4. Now if the magnetizing current in the coil is reduced to zero, the magnetic field around the core reduced to zero due to the residual magnetism present within the core as and this is shown on the curve from point A to point B. To reduce the flux density at point B to zero, we need to reserve, reverse the current flowing through the core. An increase in reverse current. <laughs> if the magnetizing current is reduced again to zero, the residual magnetizing present in the core will be equal to previous band, but in reverse at the point A. Again, reversing the magnetizing current flowing through the coil, this time into a Positive direction will cause magnetic flux to reach zero. Point F on the curve and as before, increasing magnetization current, current further in a positive direction will cause the core to reach saturation at point A. Then the pH curve <coughs> follows the path of A, B, C, D, E, F, A. As the magnetizing current flowing through the coil alternate between a positive and negative value such as cycle of <coughs> an AC voltage, this path is called a magnetic hysteresis loop. Hysteresis loss. When a magnetic material is subjected to a cycle of a magnetization, magnetized first in one direction and later magnetized in opposite direction in a cyclic manner. The energy loss take place. This energy loss is due to the molecular friction in the material. That is the domain or <coughs> molecular magnet of a material being turned first in one direction and then in other. Energy is thus expanded in the material in overcoming this opposition. This loss is in the form of a heat and is called hysteresis loss. Hysteresis loss is present in all electrical machines whose iron parts are subjected to cycle of magnetization like transformation, inductance, motor and other ma machines operate on an AC supply <clears throat> when an alternating supply is pro provided to the electrical machine the flux in the iron of this machine change in both duration and value alternatively during this process, energy is lost and thus, in this loss continued, constitute the core loss of the machine. The obvious effect of hysteresis loss is the rise of temperature of the machine. Transformer at the most electric machine operates on alternating current. In such device, the flux in the iron change continuously, both in magnitude and in direction. 
hence hysteresis loss occur in this machine hysteresis loss also occur when iron part rotates in constant magnetic field example dc machine importance or significance of bh the shape and the size of the hysteresis loop largely depend on the nature of a magnetic material the choice of the magnetic material required for a particular application often depend on the shape and the size of hysteresis loop the smaller the hysteresis loop area of the magnetic material the less is the hysteresis loss for example hysteresis loop are for silicon steel has very small for this reason silicon <coughs> steel is widely used for manufacturing of transformer cores and rotating machine which are subjected to rapid reversal of magnetism hysteresis loop for hard steel largely hysteresis large hysteresis loop area indicate that the material has high retentivity and coarseivity therefore hard steel is quite useful in making permanent magnet magnet but due to large area hysteresis loss is quite high this is the reason hard steel is not used for construction of electrical machines method to reduce hysteresis loop or a bh loop hysteresis loop can be reduced by using soft magnetic material like steel or geo core magnetic material in transformer having smaller loop to reduce the hysteresis <clears throat> application of a hysteresis loop the signification of hysteresis loop is that it provides information such as retentivity coarseivity permeability susceptibility and energy loss during one cycle of a magnetization of each paramagnetic material therefore the study of hysteresis loop will help us in selecting proper and proper and suitable material for a given purpose some example permanent magnet the material with high retentivity high coarseivity and high permeability are suitable for making permanent magnet example steel <laughs> electromagnet the material with high initial permeability low retentivity low coarseivity and thin hysteresis loop with smaller area are preferred to make electromagnet example soft iron core of the transformer the material with high initial permeability large magnetic induction and thin hysteresis loop will smaller area are needed to design transformer core example soft iron advantage of hysteresis loop a smaller region of hysteresis loop is indicative of less loss of hysteresis <coughs> this hysteresis loop provide a few day substances with the importance of retentivity and coarseivity Therefore, the way to select the right material to make a permanent magnet is made simpler by the heart of the machine. <clears throat> Residual magnetism can be calculated from the BH graph and it is therefore simple to choose materials for electromagnet. Conclusion From the hysteresis loop, we can conclude different magnetic properties of a material such as reluctance or opposition than magnetic circuit present to the passage a magnetic line through retentivity the ability of a ferromagnetic material to retain residual magnetism in its term its retentivity residual magnetism the magnetism remain after the external magnetizing force is coercive force the magnetic field strength required to reduce the residual magnetism to zero is termed the cohesive force Permeability. Permeability is to measure the ease with which magnetic lines or force passes through a given material. Thank you.